Understanding, that's obnoxious. A guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a phrase you might have heard quite often. That's obnoxious. Understanding such phrases not only helps in improving your English but also in grasping the nuances of the language. So, let's dive into what it really means, how to use it, and most importantly, in what context. Obnoxious is an adjective used to describe something extremely unpleasant or annoying. It originates from Latin, where it meant exposed to harm. Today, it's used to express strong disapproval of someone's behavior, actions, or even certain situations. When someone says, that's obnoxious, they are expressing that something is highly undesirable or irritating. To truly understand the use of, that's obnoxious, let's look at some examples. 1. Behavior. If someone is talking loudly on their phone in a quiet library, you might think, that's obnoxious. Here, the phrase is used to express annoyance at someone's inconsiderate behavior. 2. Situations. Imagine you are watching a movie, and there are constant ads interrupting. You might say, these ads are obnoxious. In this case, it's the situation that is irritating. 3. Objects or concepts. Someone might refer to a garish, overly bright color as obnoxious if it's not pleasing to the eye. Remember, while the phrase is common, it's usually reserved for situations where the level of annoyance or unpleasantness is quite high. It's important to note that calling someone or something obnoxious can be quite strong. In some cultures, direct criticism can be seen as rude or offensive. Therefore, it's crucial to understand the context and the relationship between people when using this term. It's often safer to use, that's obnoxious, to refer to situations or objects rather than directly labeling a person's character or behavior. Now that you understand what, that's obnoxious, means, you can use it to express your feelings about something that's particularly unpleasant or irritating. Remember, language is not just about words but also about the context and culture in which it is used. We hope this video helps you in your journey to mastering English. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.